everybody. Welcome back to Riverbend. I'm Amy Catcher here for Faith and Family Night tonight. News boys, they get ready to take the Coca-Cola stage tonight at 9.30. And with it being Faith and Family Night, the beer stands are all closed. But you know what? The food stands, they are doing very well here tonight. We've got a couple of new attractions. Look at that award-winning island noodles, Italian ice, the hot dogs, blooming onions, fajita pita. Even pizza and breadsticks, everything we're used to here at Riverbend. But you know, there is a new attraction here to Riverbend this year, and it lets festival goers fly the friendly skies, and it's all courtesy of the Hickson Flight Museum. Photographer Ashley Henderson and I, we were there this afternoon to check it all out. It's a great opportunity to actually put your hands on history. The Hickson Flight Museum aims to teach a little history during this year's Riverbend. Festival goers can actually climb into the cockpit of this T-28 Warbird. It's usually housed in Hickson, but all this week it's under the old Jotty Bridge. They uh, towed the aircraft. I think we got into um, Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, because we towed the furthest aircraft that has a registration on it over public streets. And for those who want to help sponsor this event, a Riverbend flyover and a Vietnam era plane. And at about 8 o'clock, it's usually when one of the acts breaks off or comes in. So it's a great opportunity for us to be able to bring to the community, you know, the thrill of flying. They get a chance to see old warbirds in the air. And these planes are the genuine article. Both of them served in combat, both of them served in Vietnam. The uh, T-28 Alpha actually served in uh, the 100-hour war. Uh, in 1969, it was sold for a dollar by the U.S. Navy, where it went to Honduras and is credited with taking out an El Salvadorian P-51 over Honduras. The T-28 was completely rebuilt from almost 1,400 parts, and it was rebuilt here in Hickson, not at Dobbins Air Force Base in Atlanta or the Tennessee Museum of Aviation in Sevierville. No one really in the Chattanooga area had the opportunity to work on, on warbirds. And even if you did go to those two locations, chances are you wouldn't get an you know, opportunity to climb on them and turn a wrench. Here, this is what this area has needed for a long time. This community is, is great around aviation. They love the work of the aircraft. They love the fly of the airplanes. They love the challenge of it. And now we have it in our own backyard. And authenticity is the name of the game, not only for the planes, but also for the gear inside of them. This is what they wear for flight shows or air shows. And basically was worn pretty much through Vietnam and Korea and stuff like that. Now the best thing about the Hickson Flight Museum is everything is actually flight ready. Not only can you come take a look at this plane, but it's still ready to be airborne. The Hickson Flight Museum has donated more than $18,000 for Children's Hospital at Erlanger. And the cost to be a sponsor and actually get to take one of the flyovers over Riverbend, as he said, they're gonna do it about eight o'clock tonight. The cost is just the price of fuel. And you know what? I actually think they're flying above us right now. How about that? So they will take a couple flyovers tonight. As I mentioned, the cost to be a sponsor, price of fuel, that's only about 350 bucks. Also get this, the National Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, they're loaning the Hickson Flight Museum a T-34 Charlie plane. That's from Naval Air Base Oceana in Virginia. That plane, it should be coming into the Hickson Flight Museum sometime tonight. So that's the report right now, live from Riverbend Faith and Family Night. John and Caitlin are going to be back to wrap it all up in just a minute.